Hi guys, it's Amy and this is Amy by Nature. How are you all doing? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday everyone. It's that time of week again. It's the end of the week and the beginning of the weekend. I hope your week has gone swimmingly. So, we are doing our monthly and our uh, farm festival, our fall festival preparation in Build a Farm today. So let's just crack on with it. We are starting with our monthly. So let us colour one of these in. in today guys. So let's just write a five in there. So let's get our envelope and we are putting in five. So in here we now have five and ten. out the way and in our build a farm today we are putting in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, I believe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yes, that is correct. So we are going to be working on our recipes again. So let us go back here, but we need to finish our apple pie, so we needed butter for that. So what we are doing is we had fed our cows, so we need to go and milk those cows and um, make some milk. So we are adding three and then we are taking away the three for making butter and that is getting £1.50. Let me just separate these a bit so I can see what I'm doing. So we're putting £1.50 in our milk and we are going to our butter. We are going to colour in another stick of butter and we are going to add this in. So we're plus one which will give us two and then we need to take away the two to go for our apple pie and this is getting 50 for the butter that we've just churned. course my hands decide not to work. So let us go over to our apple pie and we're going to add two butter to this. So let us score this off and we are putting in a pound for the butter for our apple pies. Well that's the plan. And let us get this to see that we have made another batch of apple pies. I think there'll be mini apple pies, just, you know, individual ones, like bite size. So next we are going to go on to our... <clears throat> we're going to go on to our spiced pumpkin spice latte drink. 
So in order to make this, we need cinnamon, ginger and nutmeg. So we need to go to our spice garden. So we've got cinnamon, nutmeg and a ginger. So these are 50 pence each. So we'll put in one pound 50 for our spices. And then we are going to find our pumpkins and we are going to add a one pumpkin for this recipe. So we're taking away one which will leave us 26. And we will score off our pumpkin. And because it is a crop and it is below three or below four, we're putting in 50 for the pumpkin. They're quite big pumpkins, you know. And then we're going to our coffee. Because, of course, for a latte, you need coffee. And we are going to be needing three of these. So let us take away three and that will leave us 21. And that is three also. So that is another 50 pence going into our coffee. Uh, into our recipes, should I say. So let's score that off. And then we need milk. So we need our cows, because I know we don't have any. So let's go to our wheat and see what we've got. We've got four, so we need more. So let us score, uh, colour in another row of wheat to feed our cows, and that gets one in there. I'll put that in there before I forget. So we are adding five, which will give us nine. And we need to take out six, which will leave us three. And then we are going over to our cows. And we are going to colour in another two of our milkers. And they're going to have bright noses today. So that is a pound going into our cows. And Oh, I forgot to score that we took them out for the milk. So we took away that and then we are adding two and then we're going to take them away to be milked. There we go. That is us up to date with our cows. No confusion here. <laughs> she says, hopefully. So let us colour in another two labels on here. And we are adding two and then we're going to take them over for our spiced pumpkin latte drinks. So they are also getting a pound for the milk. And we can score off our milk. So we are going to have completed another batch of the mix ready to be made up for all the 
Hungry Festival Goers. And that is also getting a pound. So let us go back to our recipes. And we'll put the money in for this one. So we've got one, two, three, three fifty for our latte mix. And then we, I think we're going to go on to our apple cider next. So let us go back to our spice garden. And in our spice garden, we need a cinnamon and an allspice. So we've got cinnamon and allspice, and that is getting one. So we can score them off. And then we need to go to our apples. Oh, we're running low on apples. So we are taking out five, which will leave us five. And that is just score that off. And then we're going to our water is here. Oh, and we need to put the money in for that. That is also one because it was five. So I'll use the 50s. So we need to add four water and we've only got two. So we're going to have to get some water from the well for making our apple cider. So let us collect water from the well. This is a laborious task, but it's lovely fresh water. Perfect for making apple cider. So we are adding in five today, which will leave us seven. And then we are taking out four, which will leave us three. And we are also putting in a pound for our water collection. So let us score off our water. And this is getting one as well as it is a four. And then all we need now is a bag of sugar sweeten up our cider. So here we go, we're at our sugar and we have no sugar. So in order to make sugar we need corn. So let's go to our corn. And we are going to We've got 17 corn, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to take out four, which will leave us 13, because then we can make two bags of sugar. So we've got one waiting in the, the wings. So let's go back to our sugar. And we're going to colour in another two bags. two bags of sugar and we are taking one out which will leave us one so we've made two bags of sugar so we're putting in a pound for that and we are going to score off our sugar on our recipe and that means we have made another lot of apple cider mix ready to go so it'll be brewing lovely for all the thirsty 
festival goers and that is getting 50. So let us put that back into our recipes. So in here we have got one, two, three fifty for our recipe. Oops. And we have got two left. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to do another lot, another row of pumpkins for the um, pumpkin patch because we are needing lots of pumpkins. So we're going to do a row of pumpkins. Uh, where's my thing? So we are adding five, which will give us 31. And we'll put a pound in for that. And the other thing I would like to do is I would like to put in another row of apples because I was thinking, why don't we do a dukin for apples area? So I don't know if you do dukin for apples, but basically you have a big tub or basin of water and you put apples in it and you have to grab one. You have to bite an apple and get it out the water. Um, with your hands behind your back. <laughs> so I thought that would be quite fun. It's frowned upon now, but as long as you're supervised, you're safe, I'm sure. I did it with my kids and they're still here, so we're okay. So we are adding in another five apples so we can have a duking for apples contest. I think that would be quite fun. So there is our preparation for our fall festival today, guys. Thank you so much for being here with me. Please like, comment, subscribe and share. And until I see you again, guys, take care. Bye.